got this beautiful Tesla Model Y I think it is for a full detail what's up everyone it's your boy Osito and his adventures and I'm back with the what with another bang here as you can see we're out here in the job site we're taking care of the Tesla where we did the interior detail now we're moving on to the exterior detail sun came out California what can you expect but we're about to run through this take care of the wash make sure there's no bugs no sap no anything then we're going to take care of the exterior with some wax we immediately got started in the interior detail I made sure to take on these stains. I believe the owner said there was sunscreen. As you can see, I'm focusing on the stain, but I'm also focusing on this door panel. The reason is that uh, Tesla has this vegan leather that takes a little bit longer to dry. So by the time I let it dry off, I come back at it and I see that the stone's still there. So I make sure to keep on scrubbing with my brush and some more APC and what? Some more steam, baby. About to get started on the interior on this beautiful Model Y. As you can see, oh, it's pretty dirty. My brother's getting started on the wheels. Where we did the inside, I'll go get. You know, when you're in the job site and something starts going wrong, so you immediately panic. But you tell yourself, wait a minute, I know what to do here. That's exactly what happened here. I noticed my machine was uh, giving me some weird sounds. So, so I went back, unrolled my hose a little bit more, and that was the solution. Make sure you feed your pressure washer that water. When it comes to the paint, I make sure to take care of the bugs first. I sprayed down some dark furry and hit it with the pressure gun and certain angles to try to get rid of those bugs. Or any tree sap that might be on there. Sometimes that's not enough, so you got to whip out the bug sponge. I like to make sure I gently stroke that, if you know what I'm saying. I like to use this microfiber mop head to reach areas normally I wouldn't be able to reach. And I know what you're thinking, Osito, doesn't that get dirty? Yeah, it gets dirty, but it reaches the bottom of my bucket. And to be honest, this probably takes a shower more than your Uncle Juan. As you can see right there, our pressure gun is shooting from three different directions. I was able to fix it once I got home, but I think I need to start carrying tools. Do you guys carry any tools with you? In this clip right here, we're already finishing up the car. We're about to wrap it up with the wash and start drying it off. Superior products. If you see this video, make sure you DM me and hit me up with the sponsorship because I feel like I mentioned your products quite a few of my videos and I think we need to work together ha I'm just playing thank you for the products because that formula wow that's hard to say together formula 4 be helping me out a lot In order to dry the roof, I had to stand on the other side, blowing the water outward towards my brother for he could just wipe it up with the towel. It worked out, and we thought it was pretty dope. Just have to think outside the box for a little bit. When you're out here and you're mobile, you gotta think outside the box a lot. Time to apply some wax. Yes, I still sell wax. 
beautiful car. Thank you. Está muy bonito. Yeah, that's the next one that needs some cleaning. All right, definitely. We had it in storage for three years. Oh, wow. Did yeah. you restore that yourself? Yeah. Ah, nice. Yeah. What is that, a uh, uh, 86 Impala? 65. 65, Whoa. Beautiful car. Yeah. So how, do, how would I schedule a time to do that one? So whenever you like, whenever you feel like you're ready, uh, you can reach out to us and um, we, can, we, we try to get you booked in as soon as possible. So if we have any openings okay. within that week, we'll try to get you booked in. Okay. And um, right now we're not too booked out. So um, you could definitely set up an appointment if you'd like. And uh, so, so that when that day comes, we'll be here or okay. whatever. Okay. Yeah. If you let me know when, uh, when you have the earliest. Okay. Um, if you like. So right now, uh, if I'm being truly honest with you, I do also work another nine to five. So one, typically, once I get out of there, um, I'm ready to start anytime after five. Okay. Or also, I have Sundays and uh, Mondays fully available if okay. you like. Yeah, but after five, it works for us. It, it works for you guys. Yeah. Perfect. Then. So um, if you like, we could get, what's today, um, Sunday, we could get you booked in as soon as Tuesday, 5 p.m. if you like. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, let's do that. Perfect then. Right now when I'm done with this job, I'll make sure to note it down into my calendar okay. and then we'll be here for sure. That's good. Thank you. Did I talk too much right there? Yeah, probably. But remember what I said in my last video. If you haven't seen my last video, make sure you go watch it. Don't be afraid to get to know your clients. And also, don't be afraid to let them get to know you. Unfortunately, yes, I still work a 9 to 5. But doing this full time is the goal. So if I let them know from the jump, it's most likely to come a reality. Why? Because they appreciate the honesty. They see you putting in the work into something you want to achieve. And they respect the hustle. Whenever you're out there, it's hot, you're sweaty, you're tired, you got things going on. Just give it all you got. On this vehicle, we're using Butter Wet Wax by Chemical Guys. Yeah, I know they get a lot of hate. I don't love every product that they offer, but I do like some of them. And Butter Wet Wax is one of them that I do enjoy using. For the reason that I could use in direct sunlight, I never really had any issues. As long as I have a good soft plush towel, I should be able to lift that up with no problem. The paint always pops out with the gloss it provides and customers always seem to like it. Unfortunately, it don't last too long. I get about a month and a half with it, give or take, but the gloss is always there. If you know of any products you would like to recommend, please don't hesitate to drop it in the comment section. Let's help each other out. And I'll be finishing off the tires with some VPR by Chemical Guys. I don't know if you guys can see that, guys. I hope you guys can. There's some um, pretty ugly water spots on here. Wondering what do you guys recommend to get these out without a buffer? All right, everyone, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you made it this far, I truly appreciate you. Just know that you're the GOAT, and thank you so much for rocking with the kid. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't.